Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. The all new 2022 Ford Lightning pickup, the all electric F-150 is rolling down the line right now. They just started pre-production units and so we're gonna take a good close look at how the truck's made and what makes how it's made quite special. With over 150,000 reservations on hand for the new electric F-150 Lightning pickup trucks, the first pre-production units are now rolling off the line. Everything about how the Lightning is put together is substantially different from the ICE-powered F-150s. It has its own unique frame with a massive battery pack in the center. It has a completely different suspension and a unique powertrain layout with electric motor transaxles both front and rear. It has its own distinct bodywork, interior treatments, wiring harnesses, and it's actually missing many of the components an ICE-powered F-150 might have coming at it on the assembly line. All of this means that while modern plants are very flexible, the Lightning really just gets put together in an entirely different way. Thus, the F-150 Lightning is assembled in its own boutique assembly line in the brand new Rouge Electric Vehicle Center located on the Dearborn Rouge campus adjacent to the Dearborn truck plant. Like its neighbor, the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center is a sustainable factory and targets a zero waste to landfill model. Body panels and the assembly of major structures such as the doors, the cab, and the bed they take place at the existing F-150 stamping body and paint shop on site at the Rouge Complex. Finished bodies are then brought over to the Lightning production line for assembly. Electric motors and transaxles are built by Ford in-house at their Van Dyke Electric Powertrain Center just north of Detroit in Sterling Heights, Michigan. There, all new e-motors are built from scratch and assembled into front and rear transaxles that power the Lightning. Also produced here are electric transaxles for other vehicles like the Ford Escape and Maverick Hybrids. The large lithium iron battery packs are also built by Ford and come from the Rossonville Components Plant just west of Detroit near the old Willow Run plant where Ford built bombers in World War II. Much of the boutique production line uses an autonomous skillet system to convey the trucks along a path to various teams as opposed to the more familiar steel track lines we've seen before. This allows for more flexibility needed for the variety of electric vehicles this plant will build in the future. In such, the process of building the F-150 Lightning is a more hands-on affair than the more automated line seen next door at the Dearborn truck plant. Here, more is done by hand at a more craft-like pace when it comes to interior trim components and finish out. Nonetheless, over 80,000 vehicles per year will be able to roll out of this plant. One of the last things that happens is a pretty interesting process here. When I first saw it, I wasn't exactly sure what was happening, but after asking Ford about it, they told me that this is a massive robot that calibrates the built-in scale that comes with the F-150 Lightning. Very cool. These pre-production trucks being built now will never be sold to the public, but used for a variety of purposes, including public relations, media test driving, creating marketing materials, sales training, and yes, final prove-out testing in addition to quality control for assembly practices before official production gets underway next year. The all-electric F-150 Lightning goes on sale next spring at $40,000 with a range of up to 300 miles with the optional extended range battery. Featuring standard four-wheel drive, it will offer up to 563 horsepower and an astonishing 775 pound-feet of torque. All right, my friends, there you go for how they make the F-150 Lightning. Now, this is quite a bit different from what you're gonna see at the Dearborn truck plant next door where all the V6 and V8 F-150s are made. If you've ever been to that plant, um, you know what I'm talking about. This is different, it's quite different. And of course, if you've never been to the Dearborn truck plant in Dearborn, I recommend you go next time you're there on vacation, whatever, it's a great thing to see if you like watching stuff like this, very cool. So there you have it. The pre-production trucks are rolling off the line. Regular production starts in spring of 2022. And until then, you can click right here and see our latest video. But I recommend you subscribe to TDTV Garage right there, especially if you geek out on this technical stuff. It's what we do.